Hey everybody. So uh, this next video, I want to show you how I did a cabin very, very, very cheap. I did the math. It's right at under $15 a square foot. I don't know where anybody else can build something that cheap. I did get lucky. I locked this building in pre-COVID. It took a while to get it due to COVID, but they held the price that I originally ordered it at and I got it cheap. So, uh, I want to show you here's the building and it looks like a tool shed i got one more thing i want to do to it i'm going to put a lean to over the window and the door keep the rain out but that's down the road but technically this thing's done i'm pretty proud of it and i did it on the cheap so i want to show you how i did it first of all let's go to the side this is this is cheesy but i wanted a cover for the propane i don't like a regulator out in the elements so I had this barrel top laying around and then I had these block and I had this regulator and notice it's stainless steel so the mice can't eat it I had that laying around and then what I did I ran conduit and it goes in the cabin and it's for that window unit I got this window unit used off Amazon if you'll go on Amazon and look at the price and then look a little bit below what they're showing Sometimes there's something that's been returned and you can see it's got a little dent right there and that's the only thing wrong with it and I tested it before I tested it before I put it in. Ran it on the generator on the picnic table, it started cooling, I knew it worked. So let's go inside. And this thing's so small. I'm gonna turn the light on. Yeah, I got switches. That's for the outside light. This is for the interior light. So what I did, I got thinking about it. And I'm like, well, if one, this is a guest cabin. Two, it's so small if I insulate it, it's going to be hot regardless. Right here, I'll turn it around here. I've got a heater and i got a window unit. These things are going to run constantly. So this is not on a thermostat. It's either on or off. And this is, you know, it's got... It constantly runs. Compressor might kick off and on, but you know, the, you know, it's going to be running regardless. So I'm like, well, something this small, you got to worry about moisture. So I said, you know, it'd be nice if I painted it. So I did. So I went with like you see in restaurants and shopping malls. I painted the ceiling black. I painted the wall white, and then I went with the greens so that way I could have contrast. And then to go really cheap, I painted the door frames and the window frames. To give it a kind of a trimmed out look i had this fiberboard laying around and i did the old cheap trick right here i just got it and went back and forth with mud and then covered it and this was a scrap piece that i had laying around and then i wanted a, a trim piece for the window unit so i just used two by fours and then i painted it and here's the last thing i gotta do is put a receptacle in here and then plug the window unit in and that goes to the conduit that you saw outside i had this chair laying around i've got a pot that i use for canning i just cleaned it and uh, i've got it in here just before i put it in storage so then i had this barca lounger laying around and i've got cabela's pads they work great then i had this carpet laying around well for flooring what did i do for flooring i painted it works out great then I had this table got it for 25 bucks and I'm including that in my overall cabin price so then something else I did this is marine grade it's a USB and a cigarette lighter now they call them 12 volt uh, 12 volt outlets but I always called it cigarette lighter plug because that's when I was a kid you had cigarette lighters in cars and then I'm using this Endless Breeze fan. These were made for uh, the dog kennel people. You put this on a dog kennel while you travel on the road to get the dog cool. These use no power. They've gotten expensive due to the RV camping world, but it still works great. So I've got cooling in here when I don't want to run the air conditioner, and I've got power, and it's coming from the shop. The lights are coming from the shop. I've got this shelf that I had laying around. I just simple old screws on it for a coat coat rack. I'll be getting the construction supplies out of here next. But it's worked out really good. This is a Mr. Heater kit right here. 
I always use these. I got a way to disconnect it off inside. It comes with all the fittings that you need. And uh, something else I did here, I just painted the brown on here to make it look like a baseboard. And like I said too, I painted the, the trim brown. And this worked out really good. This is good enough. It's so good enough that uh, for our meat processing cabin, I'm going to do it for the uh, the processing area. I'll have a walk-in cooler. Of course, I'll insulate it and finish it out really nice. But for the processing building, I'm just going to put shelves and cabinets and paint these walls. I'll have a heater in there. It's it's small. So, and if people are worried about moisture, I put my finger on there. That moisture you see is on the outside. It's not on the inside. So this is staying nice and dry. I don't. I won't have any worries about mold. I'm sure somebody's gonna make a comment on that. And I've got a recliner that I had laying around. So anyway, this turned out really good. Turn the camera around. It's gonna wrap the video up. I appreciate you watching. And uh, take care. And God bless.